Hi everyone. To begin today's colourful look, I'm just starting by patting in my P. Louise base using my Sigma Gel Mask Brush. All shades are going to be from Coloured Rain's Vivid Pigments. How beautiful is this collection? I'm going to first take the yellow shade which is Lemon Drop and I'm going to use the Sigma E36 brush for all of the crease shades. This brush allows you to literally place colour after colour without taking up too much room. So it, it enables you to put lots of colours one after the other and blend them really well. So once again in this look I am mapping out the shape I want which is what I'm doing and it's like that winged eyeshadow look. So imagine doing winged eyeliner but instead you're doing winged eyeshadow. So you're just taking it where you would like to envision a wing. Then I'm going to take this hot pink shade which is Party Drip and put it 50% on and 50% below the yellow shade. You're basically just doing the same thing with this shade, blending it in, but also creating the next colour in the winged look. And yeah, mapping that underneath. I really like how pink and yellow added the orange shade in when they blend together, which is why I didn't go in with an orange, because I knew the pink and the yellow together would do that themselves. Now I just grabbed the yellow again, because I go in with the next shade and then back to the one before. This just ensures that the shade from before is still really visible. Now I'm taking this glorious purple shade in Perp Smurf and the same thing, I'm going 50% on the pink and 50% below it and mapping out that winged eyeshadow again. Now because this shade is pretty dark, it does take a bit of blending, so take your time. And once I was happy with the, you know, colour payoff of the purple, I go back in with the pink to make sure the pink's having its moment, but also the pink will help you blend the purple. So always remember if you're struggling to blend, go back in with the previous shade. Now I filmed this blue really bad and I even missed filming the eyeshadow, the actual pan of the eyeshadow. So this is Neo Blue. And I'm using the Sigma E25 and I pat that all over the lid and then I blend it into the purple. Um, I also went back over the purple once I put the blue on to make sure that the purple stays noticeable and that the blend is perfect. And you're just using that brush as you can see and I'm winging it up underneath the purple and the winged shape we'd already made. Now go really slow doing this and if you have to get out the Sigma E36 brush do that too. Now I'm taking the green, which is Level Up, and I'm using the Sigma E45 brush, and I'm just doing that all over the lower lash line and connecting it up to the blue. I really like the look of connecting the lower lash line up into the same wing shape. And then I just used a brush, you can use whatever you want, and my face powder to just clean that up. Now I'm taking my brow pomade in Daffodil from Kat Von D and doing a yellow waterline. You guys know I love the brow pomades on the waterline. Now jumping into Down Under Cosmetics Silk Pearl Pigment. If you're after an amazing white, this is it. And I'm just using this as a base for my glitter. I find that if you use a base under the glitter that's in the shade colour you want, it sort of makes it look better. But also if any glitter bits fall off, you, you won't really notice. So this is Festival Glitter Australia's holographic silver glitter. And I'm just placing that over the white silk pearl. I also went in with my Livia Lydia lashes, but my camera overheated so it didn't film. But that is the look done. I hope you guys like this look. And just remember, practice makes perfect. If I was to go do this look again now, I bet I could do it even better than this. It is just all practice. You learn as you go. So just give it a go and you might, be, you might surprise yourself. Bye guys.